Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial video. Today we're looking at how to add data bar and indicator graphics to our reports. This video is recorded in April 2021 using Visual Studio 2012. So one of the options you've got in SSRS is if you've got a, a number um, value column, you can change that column to, rather than be a number, to be a graphical representation of that number. Um, and in this way, sometimes it's a little bit easier to read. Uh, so you, you can have a bar which goes right the way across um, for, for a large number and halfway across for a, a lesser number. Um, or you can have some sort of graphic that gives you an idea of what that number represents. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of, um, of those. So on screen, I've got a report. Uh, if I preview that report, it's got a value field, um, a sales year to date column here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column and change it so that instead of it being um, sales year to date, we're going to have some sort of alternative. So if I just say, let's insert a column to the right and we'll put the same value in. So sales year to date, um, I don't want the sums. Um, I'll quickly format this. Uh, oh, in fact, they don't need to format it. Either. So if I do a preview, you'll see that the values are the same, albeit the new column's not formatted. So there's all the figures here. So now I've got that column. If I right-click that column, if I hover over it and just right-click, I've got an option of insert. And I've got an option of, first of all, let's look at data bar. So this data bar um, is the first example that I'm going to show you. And it's... Uh, it's a bar that goes across um, the cell to indicate the approximate value of uh, of data in that cell. So if I just select the um, the default and click OK, and now if I preview that data, what that will do is it will find the largest value in our um, individual data cells, not the totals, just the individual data cells. And that value will be a full bar. And then all the other bars that are not um, the higher value will have, um, will be kind of graded depending on the value compared to the maximum value. So this is 4.25 uh, million. This being 4.1 is almost full, but not quite. And then you've got some that are near half, um, and you can see there, so you can see what the what the largest total is, and then you can see how the other offices compare to Nevada in this case. So you can see that some of the offices are very, very low, uh, and some of them are relatively close. So rather than having figures, sometimes this thing here is just an easy way of saying, oh, Nevada's done the best, and you can see that Detroit and Cambridge are pretty close. Um, if we just go to design, while that's in place, if we right click that now, we've got uh, a new set of options and one of them is this chart properties. And in here, um, various uh, different options. In fact, this is kind of the main one, but if I click on this drop down here and we change it, we can change it to be um, a different color. And there you can see that the colors changed. Now, if I create another column, using the same data not bothered about the totals uh, now if I right click and I go to insert I can select indicator now indicator is uh, works ever slightly differently so what indicator does is it will give you um, depending on a percentage of of between zero and the highest amount depending on the if it, it, it'll give up to 33 percent it'll have a downward blue a downward red arrow if it's between 33 and 66 percent of the largest number it'll have a yellow arrow and if it's greater than 66 percent of the largest number it'll have a green arrow so if i just select that as default click ok that's just the representation of it when i preview that you'll see um how it actually looks in the report so you see this is i mean this is the, the the highest one so you're gonna have a green arrow and those that are greater than 66 percent of the largest number have a green arrow 
those that are within 33 and 66 percent of the largest number have yellow arrows and those that are below 33 percent of the largest number have red arrows and in this way it's quite a nice easy way of seeing maybe where offices are not doing as well as other offices um, and if we come back to design there are options in here also so if i right click on that and i now go to my indicator properties um, and we've got the values and states this here is the the um where you add the extra sorry where you add your your, your gradients if you like so between zero and 33 percent it's going to be red between 33 and 60 percent it's going to be yellow between 66 and 100 percent it's going to be green and you can add here or you can change these percentages should you want to um you can change uh, the, the colours here. Um, you've got icons to choose from here as well. Um, if I cancel that, and we'll, rather than have this one, we can change it to be um, a different indicator. So we'll choose maybe this star indicator. See how this one looks. So, ah, okay, so if it is um, the, the largest number, you've got a full star. Um, maybe not quite as easy to see, but just as an example. And you can see that um, two of the cells here, this cell uh, here for Bordeaux and this cell here for Redmond, because um, of the size of the job title, it's gone over two lines, if you like. So this is one line uh, row height, and this is two lines at row height, and, this, and the actually indicators kind of resize to fill the the full um height of the row if we go to design we ought to see in here then if we go to the indicate the properties and the value in states we should see five inches in here there you go and you've got the different um percentages here and again you can click on here and you can select whatever it is you want in here whatever image you want so you can have as many as you like. Uh, that's the end of this tutorial video. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Um, any feedback is appreciated. A thumbs up would be, would be appreciated also. Um, thanks very much for watching. See you next time.